good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. I am exhausted because I was at the Dougie Fresh Keith Sweat concert last night. Like I was 15 years old and you know what? I didn't care. And then, hey Amy Pinto. And then I decided to go with Doug and everybody to Cheesecake Factory at midnight. Like I was some sort of teeny bopper. Mm bop, da ba do -a. Um, if any of you have ever, never, ever seen Dougie Fresh in concert, um, I suggest you immediately go to my Instagram page and watch my live story because there is no greater entertainer. The number one beatboxer. Um, and he is Harlem to the core. And there is something really sexy about Harlem. You know, it's so interesting. Harlem got a bad rap in the 80s because it was like the drug, the drug capital of the world. And like, you know, so many homicides and like, but Harlem is the cornerstone of music in America. Harlem is mean showtime at the Apollo. Kiki Shepard, hey. Okay, I'm just telling you, if y'all have never seen Dougie Fresh, really, uh, you need to check out my Instagram stories. Anyway, so I'm exhausted because I didn't go to, come to bed till 1.30 and then the dog woke me up at like 6.30 and I was like, no, I am not here for it. Um, and um, so anyway, I wanted to tell you, so, so last night, my Instagram is Jamie P. Sullivan, J-A-I-M-E-P Sullivan. I'll post the link. Um, yeah. Oh, Deborah Phillips just posted the link. You can just click on it after this video. Okay. So anyway, let me tell you something. Last night at the concert, there was like a bunch of people, whatever. And I'm typically extremely happy go lucky. And every once in a while, there are people who rub me the wrong way. Look, y'all, I'm not perfect. And I never claim to be perfect. That's the beautiful thing. Um, so these women were like, you know, they do the, they, they, you know how there's some people that are just so extra, like they always got to be extra. Like people see Doug and it can never just be like, Hey Doug, how are you? It's got to be the extra, like hanging on him and like the big theatrical productions. Right. And, um, so I just don't have a ton of patience for it, I guess. Cause I was a publicist for so long and I was just like whatever. So long story short, um, the show starts, right? We're, and me and one of the girls that has been with Doug for years, we go up on stage and these girls to try to Melanie, don't tell me to blow my nose. It hurts my feelings. Okay. I can barely breathe. I know. I know. Um, Yeah, sorry, my dog. Um, okay, so anyway, this is important. So they come and they stand right in front of me. All right, so I'm going to block Melanie right quick because she... Boop. Okay. God, y'all, that block feels so good. It feels better than blowing my nose. All right, so anyway... Um... They stand right in front of us on the stage. So my girl's like, what are they doing? I'm like, I don't know. So I say, girls, move back. And they're like, who the fuck is she? Blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, oh, okay. They're trying me. So I'm just going to be cool. So I go, you know what? Let's move to the other side of the stage. So much easier. Let's just move away so that there's no way that... um that we can have confrontation with these women. So I literally walk to the other side of the stage, all the way around to the other side of the stage with my girlfriend, right? And don't you know, Minnesota, they followed me to the other side of the stage and stood directly in front of me. Now y'all, listen to me on this, okay? They tried me the first time 
and I didn't fall for it. I moved, I physically removed myself from the situation. Okay? They followed me to the other side of the stage, right? And stood in front of me again. And I knew in that moment it was my test. It was my test. This had nothing to do with them. I was being tested. Like, do you know how to act right? Can you keep it classy? Right? Like, you're a mom. You're trying to do the right thing. You're doing coffee talk. Like, are you still who you say you are? Are you still the woman that you want to be? Because let me tell you something. What I wanted to do was fight and throw him off the stage. Because if you're going to follow me to the other side of the stage, you clearly, clearly want to beat down. You clearly want to get beat up. You came to the Dougie Fresh concert to get beat up. That's what you did, right? You came to the Dougie Fresh concert to get beat up. But, but... I was being tested and I recognize that. And why I share this story with you is not to shame those women because look, they were part of my test. So I salute them. They were part of my journey. Like, thank you ladies, truly and sincerely for being part of my journey, right? But let me say this. When you are able to recognize that you are being tested. When you are able to recognize that in that moment, you are so special that the universe, God, whatever, still wants to make sure that you are on his side, that you are doing it the right way, that you are putting it out into the universe, that you are walking the walk and talking the talk. You have got to smile at yourself and go, y'all, I am so important. I am so important. The universe thinks I'm so important. The universe is still checking for me. So I just had to smile. I just, my girlfriend and I, they, they followed us around the other side of the stage and stood in front of us again. And she was like, okay, no, yeah, we got to fight. I was like, no, no, no. Let me tell you what's happening right now. This is so exciting. We are being tested. And she was like, What? I was like, we are being tested. Look at the situation. We are actually being tested. We have to acknowledge that and appreciate it and celebrate it. Like real talk. So we went to the other side of the stage again, back around the other side of the stage and stood and watched the rest of the show while the other two, the other women who were testing us stayed, they stayed on the other side. And... In the end, I mostly resisted, mostly resisted, um, making fun of them for their very weird dancing, calling them names, blah, blah, blah. Like I, I'm not a hundred percent mature, right? Like I still, I might've made one joke about their outfits, but mostly I passed that test. And I got to tell you, like, it is hard for me, hard for me to pass these tests. It is in the recognition that I am being tested, that I am really growing. Cause I'm like, I see what's happening now. It used to be that it was the jump off right away, the jump off. But like, I see what's happening now and I get it. I get it. So I share this with you guys to say, when you feel you have been tested or when you are in the moment and you are like, yo, this chick is, this woman is, this mother is, this sister is, my husband is, literally take the time to acknowledge that you are being tested and think about why. Why am I being tested right now? You guys are cracking me up that I'm all try over here trying to tell y'all that I passed my test and y'all are like, you should have taken her down by the hair. Guys, whose side are you on? I'm trying to be different. I just want you to understand that 
when they got in front of me the first time and I removed myself from the situation, that is growth. When they followed me to the other side of the stage and stood in front of me again, they tried it. They wanted the Jersey Belle, the Coffee Talk chick to jump off. They wanted to come out into the world and say, she's not who she says she is, folks. She gets on that camera every morning and tells y'all to try to be better. And she jumped off last night and threw my fat ass off a stage. She, they wanted that. I couldn't give it to them. I would not give it to them. I will not give it to them. I am not going backward for anybody. I was being tested for some reason. Like I said, I'm not, I am not, um, perfect. I may or may not have made fun of an outfit in my mind and maybe a little bit out of my mouth. I'm just keeping it real, but it was in my own personal space. Nobody else heard it. I didn't hurt anybody's feelings and they look like the fool standing now at the not fun edge side of the stage by themselves. Oh my God. Julie Arnold, you win the comment of the day. Julie Arnold, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, no, I didn't give it to them, y'all. I didn't give it to them because the test was mine. I'm not going to give them glory in my test. Why would you give glory to somebody else during your test? No, no, no. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't do it. People want me to fail. Don't you understand? There are people out there that want me to fail because part of my journey is to be tested I get it. I'm not perfect. I, I do coffee talk to try to share my life with you, to try to share my life experience with you, to connect with you, to let you know you're not alone, to remind each other to be good to each other. But I'm not perfect. If you test me, I may not do the jump off. I may not throw you off the stage. But I definitely think it's something about your outfit. I probably am. I probably am. Right? And I did meet Keith Sweat last night. <laughs> you say no. I say yes. Girl, I bet I could make you sweat. Julie said one of the women was probably Melanie. And it made me laugh. I'm sorry. It was funny. Um, Okay, so Amy Pinto is from Freehold. That has known me since this woman right here. Has known me forever and it's making me laugh. Because she's probably like, I can't believe Jamie didn't throw her off the stage. Uh, but it is so glorious to know that you're being tested and feel like you know what is happening. Because you know what, guys? It takes the paranoia away. Because when you don't realize you're being tested, you start to get paranoid. Like, why are people out to get me? Why are these women trying me? Why are they testing me? But when you understand that you are being tested, right? It's like school. When you know a test is coming and you have time to prepare, you feel good about it. But when your teacher's like, boop, bitch, pop test, you're like, what? Pop test? That's how I felt last night. Pop test, what? Pop test, why am I being tested? But then I recognized. Then I recognized. I was being tested. And once I really, truly recognized it, I was like, oh, I'm good. I'm straight. I got this. Did I meet the man? Yes. I can post pictures. Me and Keith Sweat. Um, Charlie would have thrown them off the stage, but Charlie's not there yet. She's a work in progress. It's fine. But by the way, I legitimately love, and I want to say to you right now, from my heart to yours, how much I love the honesty from you guys to say, okay, Jamie, I legit probably would have tried to throw them off the stage too. The truth is we all feel that way when we're tested. We all feel like, what is your problem? And then we realize, oh, I'm being tested. God is watching me right now. All eyes are on me. The glory of God, of the glory of God is shining on me. Y'all, I should have known a test was coming because yesterday I was blessed and highly favored. All day I was blessed and highly favored yesterday. Yesterday was one of the greatest days I've had in a long time. So I should have known a test was coming for me. Now, I'm going to take my daughter to a birthday party and I'm going to blow my nose because part of Melanie was right. It is gross. But I'm proud of us, all of us. 
Look at how many of us are admitting like, okay, we would have wanted to throw that chick off the stage. You follow me to start? I walk away from you as to not toss you off the stage and you follow me? Whew. But I love, I love that we are all so honest. Like, okay, my name is Jamie and I would have thrown her off the stage. And you're all like, okay, well, my name is jo Joelle. I would have thrown her off. My name is Jessica. I would have thrown her off the stage. My name is Patty. I would have thrown her off the stage. I love the honesty in this group. It's like, we are, we are, basically, we are all best friends who wake up every morning to tell each other the truth about how hard life is. And I love it. I love the honesty and I appreciate the honesty from you guys because the solidarity lets me know I'm not the only one. Gross, you have to breathe. I know. Oh my God. You guys are making me feel terrible by my nose. Let me go blow my nose, okay? I love y'all, except for the ones who made me hurt my feelings about my nose. I love you guys so much. Love you. Have a great, great day.